This is the brand new Pinarello Belide time trial bike of Mikel Landa. Now he used this to do very well in the time trial stage of the Giro d'Italia in May, a race of course which he pulled out of due to sickness. Now Pinarello have completely redesigned this Belide time trial bike to be of course more aero and lighter, 350 grams lighter to be precise. And it does look incredibly sleek. They've still got the caliper covers, but there is a slight difference. The front one doesn't look too dissimilar, but if you have a look here at the rear, it is a very unique design, which we understand comes from the aerospace industry, and in particular, the Boeing 707. Now, apparently, it's to reduce the turbulence here and the air getting caught at the back of the brakes. And we can only presume it works. The down tube has also been redesigned, as you can see, much chunkier affair here, and it's quite a small bottle cage for a slightly smaller bottle than they would use on the normal road bikes. And that is to keep the bottle very close to the frame itself, again, to help reduce the drag. And there have been further improvements, improvements, shall I say, at the fork here. You can see at the bottom, a newly designed dropout, again, reducing drag. And at the back here, take a quick look, you can also see the adjustable positioning for the rear disc wheel. Now turning that, we'll move it in or out, and it means that the mechanic can get the tyre as close as possible to the frame at the back there without it actually touching. The closer it is, the more aerodynamic it is. You may well recognise the front end of the bars here, these custom 3D moulded bars that we've seen on Chris Froome's bike before, which exactly match Mikel Lander's position as he holds them. But it's just an incredible one-piece design when you look closely at it. Even the Garmin mount here at the front is part of that one piece. It really is quite incredible. Now, we haven't been able to find out exactly how much this is going to cost the consumer just yet. However, the previous model of the Belide time trial bike cost £9,300, which is roughly $15,000 for the frame set. So you can expect that this will not be cheap. Now in terms of the finishing kit, slightly more standard than the rest of the bike. It's a full Shimano Dura Ace Di2 group set. Even, even Team Sky have yet to get their hands on the brand new 2017 Dura Ace, so they're still using the previous incarnation. Uh, Dura Ace pedals as well. We've got the Physique Time Trial Specific Ares saddle here, which is ever so slightly shorter than a standard saddle. And then it is Pro, which is part of the Shimano group, who provide the, both the tri spoke front wheel and also the disc wheel at the back. And finally, we've got Continental Pro Limited 25mm tyres, which seem to be donning pretty much every bike I see at the moment. In terms of his measurements, it's around about 72 centimetres from the centre of the cranks to roughly where I think he perched himself on the saddle, and 77 centimetres from the nose there to the tip of the tri bars or bar extensions at the front. Moment of truth though, how much does it weigh? Time trial bikes are normally a fair bit more than their road counterparts. They claim that they've saved 350 grams from the frame itself. What does that do to the overall weight? We are about to find out. Seven point six five nine. Not too bad because we have seen quite a few bikes, time trial bikes here on GCN that are over eight kilograms. Now, if you would like to see our complete pro bike playlist, it's up there in the top corner for you. If you've yet to see the latest episode of the GCN show, and I suggest you go and watch that, it's down in the bottom corner there. And subscribe, click on the globe. Lovely looking bike.